Hey guys, welcome back to the place where dreams and audio quality come to die. It's a mail call day. And today we've got two packages, only one of which we're looking at today. We have this, which I will save for later. And by popular vote on Instagram, I did a little poll and I asked which one of these did you guys want to see first? And the UNSC uh, Marine Pack won by a astounding majority. I, I guess I'm not really surprised because... Um, well, it's a pack of three Marines. It's an army builder pack and those tend to get some uh, Some more favoritism from the fans and I, I can't blame them for that one bit So today we are taking a look at the Halo Infinite UNSC Marine Multi-pack there really isn't a name for it, but it's three UNSC Marines weapons bases this is part of the Jazzwares World of Halo line and I am really really excited to dig into this it's a bit of an oddity how these came to be exactly, because some people over on Instagram started posting that, hey, there's these two multi-packs up on Amazon right now, and they weren't really announced anywhere or anything like that, but uh, the fans definitely responded and ordered a bunch of these. I myself just ordered one of each, but uh, I know some people definitely ordered multiples, especially of this Marine pack. And yeah, it's part of the World of Halo line, so if you go to Amazon right now, you search up World of Halo, these should be at the bottom of page one or the start of page two. That was where they were when I ordered them. They may have gotten shifted in the uh, in the loading order at some point, but yeah, that's how I found them, and uh, they were they were delivered to me quite promptly, which I'm I'm very pleased about. As far as packaging goes, there is nothing new to report. This is just your standard Halo, World of Halo packaging that we've been getting, and there's nothing to complain about there at all. Uh, title for each character, it's it's all the same. It's a UNSC Marine with an assault rifle, a UNSC Marine with a spanker rocket launcher, and a UNSC Marine with a battle rifle. Coming around to the back here, we just see some product lineups for other figures that you can get. This would be wave three of the individually carded figures, a couple multi-packs that you might find in store now and some of the vehicle packs that you can uh, check out. I did a review of this gun goose recently still have not found the shade to it but eventually we'll get that we'll get that track down. But apart from that I think it's time to take a look at what's far more interesting than just the box. Let's take a look at these figures out of the packaging. Now taking a look at these guys out of the packaging, they are absolutely awesome looking. They do come with a unique deco in terms of the camouflage. We'll take a look at some of the previous iterations that we've gotten with uh, the Marines later, but these guys look absolutely menacing all together with their weapons. And yeah, this is an awesome battle pack. This is the perfect way to really army build any UNSC forces that you could want for your collection. Each Marine is unique in terms of the attachments on his body armor as well as the weapon that he comes with, and even the helmets are unique. We have three different versions, one with just a chin strap, one with an armored chin strap, and then this final version with an open-faced helmet. Now let's take a look at some of these accessories, and of course starting it off, we do have the standard base plates that we've been getting with these figures. These are absolutely awesome for displaying your figures as well as doing maybe little mini dioramas or toy photography just to make sure that the figures don't fall over. That is, of course, one of the worst things that happens when you're trying to set up a toy photo. Figures fall over, and even on display, you know, they'll fall over, knock over an entire shelf like a domino effect. And here we have one of each iteration, which is nice. They included the muddy version, the grassy version, and the more, like, stony rock version. These are the three different terrains we've gotten so far with these, and I'm sure later on down the road we might see even more variations. Now to talk about the weapon accessories, we have the assault rifle here in a nice dark green and black color deco. I heard somewhere that people were saying this was upscaled from the Wave 1 release, and I don't believe that is the case because here we have a Wave 1 and this whatever Wave, I'm not even sure, I can't keep track anymore, but this modern release, and they are the same size, however there's a slight uh, increase in scale on the grip here, just slightly, slightly beefier, maybe a little bit less uh, texture there, but yeah, they may have upscaled that just so that it fits into Spartan hands a little bit better, but the overall size is the same as the Wave 1 release. And as with all these weapons, they have the little peg on the back there, allowing it to slot nicely into the back of Spartans as well as the Marines. They can carry the weapon around as they would in-game, and it's a great way to ensure you don't lose those little tiny accessories. 
Next up we have the Battle Rifle, one of my personal favorite weapons in the game. It's absolutely awesome, and sculpt-wise, paint-wise, this looks really nice. And once again, all these weapons are cast in that more bendy plastic, just to prevent any breaking or snapping of the smaller parts. Sometimes it can lead to the weapons getting a little bit warped, but overall, if you just heat them up and, uh, you know, just kind of reshape them, they will go back without any issue whatsoever. And then finally, we have the Spanker Rocket Launcher, this time in kind of a like a dark hunter green and gray deco. I don't think we've seen that before in the world of Halo Line, which is very unique, very cool to see. Now, this one has actually seen some changes from the Wave 1 release. Here is the first version that we ever got of this that came with Master Chief and the Warthog. And you can see they've beefed up this front handle, and they've also expanded this area here for the hands to grip, because this top one, unfortunately, Master Chief, Marines, no one could really fit their hand into that little space to hold it. Having this area expanded really opens it up and allows for multiple characters to be able to hold that very nicely. You can see here the Marine's hand just barely fits in there on the old version and the Spartan hands were so much larger there was no way that that was going to fit there. But with this new version he can actually grip it very easily, he can shoulder the rocket, and although it's a bit of a stretch he can actually get his arm, if we can just get that positioning right. You can actually get his second arm to reach that forward grip and hold that very, very nicely. So we've talked about weapons, we've talked about base plates, now let's talk about the Marines. And really these are just three repaints, redecos of the three Marines that we've seen so far in the World of Halo line. This one being a redeco of the single carded version. For some reason, I can't find my version of this one. I know I've got at least one, if not two of this version. The, the biggest key giveaway is that it doesn't have the armored legs and it has the combat knife on its chest. I've got it somewhere. I can't seem to track it down. This second one is actually my favorite by far of any of these marine designs. It's got this really cool armor on the legs, kind of reminiscent of the Halo 3 marines. It's got pouches on both legs, with this one being a holstered little sidearm. Now mine is missing a pouch on the chest, that's just kind of a quality issue and oversight. I will probably just have to reorder this pack, get a good one, and this one I might customize, give him something else to fill that little void there. It's not a big deal to me, um, you know, it's probably just a little issue that I'm experiencing and your, your mileage may vary on the packs that you buy. And this Marine does sport a unique helmet, although it looks similar to this one that we just looked at before. This one has a chin strap, whereas this one has an armored chin strap or just a piece of armor covering its chin. And it just adds a slight variety, a slight difference between the two of them, giving you some very unique soldiers in your army, especially if you're buying multiple of these packs. Uh, it's nice to have that little variation. And yes, these guys' heads are on ball joints, so if you wanted to buy two or three of these packs and swap their heads around, you could definitely do that. Now, while the molds are the same, there are some interesting differences between this version, the one from the three pack, and this version from the Grunt two pack. Obviously the camouflage is different, this one being more of a woodland style and this one being more of like a desert or multi-cam style. Definitely cool to have different camouflage patterns because you can do different environmental displays or environmental shots and all kinds of really cool opportunities open up when you start getting different camouflage decos. And there are some other color differences, notably the visors are different colors and the pouches and holsters are different colors. And it might just be the lighting in here, but I think the green of the armor is different, though that might not be intentional. It might just come down to the batch of plastic that was used in the, uh, in the molding process. But either way, it's definitely cool to see these guys side by side with different camouflage patterns, different colors of visors and pouches, just all these great things to really set these guys apart. And they could make up two separate squads, or you could just have them mingled together as marines and it just gives you that diversity once again I, I keep stressing that because it is really nice to have army builders like this that aren't just copy pastes of each other you know you can get multiples of this guy multiples of this guy swap around some heads maybe swap some armor pieces around and you're going to have a very unique marine army and for the third and final Marine, we have this one. This is just a redeco of the Marine Sniper from Wave 2, with the most significant differences here just being a change of camouflage pattern and a change of skin tone. And once again, it's a really nice decision. I mean, here you have more of an urban camouflage or maybe a navy camouflage, 
Once again, you got the desert multi-cam on this side, and I think they work really well either together or in separate units. Now, unfortunately, on this marine mold in particular, they did not use a ball joint for the head. Instead, they used some sort of peg system. And so you really can't remove this head without stressing or straining on that neck joint. I have not tried to, uh, to do much on that because I've seen some people say that they broke theirs. I don't want to risk that. So these guys are pretty much staying as is for me, and, and that's okay. I wouldn't mind being able to swap them around since I like the open face helmets, and I'd like to put those on some of the more heavily armored marine bodies, like these with more pouches, the leg armor, and the shoulder armor. However, these guys still make excellent additions to the marine ranks. I like that they've gone ahead and given us different skin tones, as well as hopefully down the road we'll also get some female marines since they still play a prominent role in the Halo games as well. And yeah, these guys are absolutely awesome. There isn't anything terribly unique about them. They are just straight up redecos of what we've already gotten, but it's done in such a way that, like I say over and over again, it is really, really nice. And this is the way to do army builders like this with kind of figures like this and clone troopers and stormtroopers, the kind of guys that you just can't get enough of. They're not going to need to be super unique. They just need some subtle differences to give them... Uh, something to stand out from the guy next to him, you know. Uh, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do really, really nice army builders. The kind that, you know, you can really not get enough of. Especially if you're into toy photography or you just want a really big battle display. I mean, these guys are perfect for that type of thing. There's just, there's really no downside to these guys. And now let's take a look at the articulation for these figures. It is going to be pretty much all the same across all three of these guys. And so I'm only going to do it on the one. And yeah, I mean, it, it is your, it is the same. It's the Marine body. It's a solid body. It's solid articulation. But in case you're new to this mold, in case you're new to the world of Halo line, let's go over it. Take a look at what we got. Up at the top, we got the swivel and the ball joint. So you can swivel up, you can swivel down, you can swivel side to side. You can get pretty much every which way with these guys. They are very poseable, especially for the, the scale, the 118 scale, the 4 inch scale. At the shoulders, you can get just about to 90. The armor does flex a little bit to go over that torso there, and that does give you a pretty decent range of motion. The elbows can crunch to uh, just about 90. This one kind of wants to push back out just a little bit. Now, when I did open these guys up, got them out of the packaging and all that, their joints were a little bit stiff, especially the ones that were painted like this one. So uh, take that into account. Maybe don't go crazy with them right out of the package. Try and break them in just a little bit. And then once you do, they pose right up very nicely with no issues. Now at the torso, you actually have two joints. So you have a swivel at the waist as well as a ball joint here at the torso really doesn't give you much crunch forward and back, but it does give you an extra point to swivel that torso around. The hips have a ball joint and a thigh swivel, so forward into that seated position in case you want to put them in a warthog, back to there, outwards, then down to the knee you have a double knee joint, kicks you all the way back to there, which is really nice, and then down at the foot you have a hinge, which gets you you know, to ballerina feet as we do around here. And then it's got rockers, which we love, love, love rockers on a four inch or 118 scale figure. So again, you got all that great dynamic posing that you can get with a figure that has rockered feet. It's not impossible without them, but it is such a nice feature. And I think it's pretty much a staple of like next generation TVC figures, World of Halo figures. If you're gonna make a 118 scale figure these days, uh, you better you better have ankle rockers on it. That's that's my opinion. And there you have it. There's all the articulation on this figure. Again, the mold is the same. So you're going to get three figures with that kind of articulation, each with its own unique little uh, pouches and weapons and armor, all that good stuff. And I really don't think that anyone will regret buying a pack like this, especially if you maybe missed out on the Wave 1 Marine, or you missed out on the multi-pack, or you missed out on the Wave 2. I mean, really, this is just a golden opportunity to get Marines if you don't have them or you want to army build them. I don't see a downside whatsoever. Now, these guys retail for $29.99, which I think is pretty reasonable. The, the single-carded versions are $9.99 a piece, so buying three together for $29.99. So, yeah, I think that's pretty fair. It's single-carded prices for the ease of buying a multi-pack, so really there's no downside there whatsoever. And 
Honestly, if you're a fan of this line or maybe you need a good entry point into this line, I think this works either way. If you're new to this line, it's a great way to get three figures just in a, in a blink, in a flash. You can just get three Marines right out of the box with epic weapons and all that cool stuff. And if you're an army builder or a toy photographer, what better way to do both those things than with this pack? So there we have it, the Marine 3 pack. There's no official name for this pack, but it is absolutely rad. I love it. And so, yeah, <laughs> what else can I say? But yeah, I think that's where we're wrapping up this review. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. There's a link down in the description if you want to check out my social media. I post things like this over on my Instagram, like if there's a new release or a new announcement. I try to post those things in my story so that you guys can stay up to date with what's going on in the collecting world, as well as a link to my new Twitch account if you want to watch some Fallout gameplay, and also a link to Entertainment Earth in that same link tree in case you want to order any new or maybe pre-order some new figures. Uh, if you do that through the link, it helps out the channel, and I appreciate that so, so much. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Have a wonderful evening, noon, or night. Be kind to one another, and I will catch you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.